Back. We are continuing to check results for our races around central Georgia. Let's go ahead and check out the Senate race. This is for the regular one, and in spite of spending a lot of money, John Ossoff is trailing David Perdue, the incumbent. David Perdue now has a very sizable lead with over 380,000 votes to John Ossoff. And in the special election, so many folks in this election, but so far it looks like the top two vote getters are Raphael Warnock with 30% of the vote. He's been going back and forth with Kelly Leffler, who is the incumbent. Doug Collins has actually conceded to Kelly Leffler, so it appears we have a runoff between Leffler and Warnock, and that is coming up on January 5th, 2021. Democratic challenger Raphael Warnock spoke to his supporters at a watch party tonight. Here's what he had to say. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you so very much, Georgia. What a great night. Tonight I stand here grateful for your support, honored by your trust, and energized by the growing movement for change all across this state. Something special and transformational is happening right here in Georgia. The people, everyday people, ordinary people, are rising up and they are demanding change. Raphael Warnock's uh, speaking to his supporters today in Atlanta. Let's go ahead and check out a few more election results. This is for the second congressional district in the U.S. House. Sanford Bishop, Bishop he is your winner with 59% of the vote. He's keeping his seat and moving on to the 8th district. Again, the incumbent wins. Austin Scott, your Republican and the incumbent, he wins with 67% of the vote. 10th Congressional District, Jody Heiss, again, the incumbent, is the winner tonight over Tabitha Johnson Green. And the 12th Congressional District, Rick Allen, a good night for incumbents. He is your winner in that race.